Well, all I can say is this is fantastic. If you want to see how I got this Timu quilt together, and I'm calling it a Timu quilt because I used Timu 10 inch squares to make this quilt. If you want to see how I got it together, just keep on watching and I'll tell you a secret right now. Run. Just go buy the fabrics now. Run. Let's get started. Okay, so now I have all of the squares here with me. Well, they're triangles now. And I'm simply just, just going to literally chain piece all of them as I sit and sew. Um, I'm going to use the seam guide again, just to ensure that I am using all of the items. All right, so I didn't separate them, even though some of them may got separated upon moving. So I'm just going to sew, chain piece, and then we will lay them out and simply just sew it together as a quilt top, and then I will make it into a quilt. All right, guys, these are the last square and I'm just going to use the little snippers just to ensure that I can cut it with and see how sharp it actually is. So let's see if I have any luck with this. That's pretty good. It actually cut one and that's the other. <laughs> that's pretty good. Really, really happy with that. So look at that, cutting the dog ears off. Bit there. Okay. All right. So let's go lay it out now. All right, guys. So it's, it's just literally a diamond in a square basically um, so we can change it around or we could just simply do something else um, I think it's all right to be honest I'm not gonna be too fussy about it the colors looks really nice it's balanced um, it's only 16 squares so hey not bad at all <clears throat> okay so we could change around if I want to and uh, probably if we can possibly put just all dark reds in the middle like so, that one there, like swap this one, I'll swap this one here, so that it's a little bit more prominent, and keep that one outside there, and still get that, I like to like the prominent colour in the middle, probably we can either change this one also, and I can put, let's see there's another one, that's a bit more dominant than this one here. I can use the opposite, put that there, and you get that really 
dominant color in the middle there which looks good as well I'm happy with that um, let's try turning the yellow in and see how that looks so if we give it the yellow in the middle first and see let's do the yellow and orange together let's try those two colors that looks nice actually I do like that also with adding the extra one back in the corner here so it would be the red like so this looks all right I think I prefer the red in the middle um, so I'm going to turn it back to the red I think these two are, what I have done is put the same same squares together here which is fine also I do like the red in the middle I'll be honest about that I think I'll stay with that and leave that there and leave those opposite each other I do like that I'm going to swap let's see if I turn it rather than do the color pattern the same way let's turn it and see so I do like the lights there actually I didn't want those two reds to get in fact what I would do is swap around because these two reds here together are the same so I think I'll use this one here and put the light there turn that and put the light there so that's fine I can still see the diamond shape which is fine I'm going to swap if I just turn this one there and keep the reds outer to so put all the lighter colors in the middle no I don't want to swap that there because then that would look blocked um, yeah I'm giving myself a different color formation here isn't it it's extended out there I think I'll turn it back to its original um, I don't really want to mess around and <laughs> it ended up being a long-winded process and overthink it um, so I'm just going to put it back the way it was stitch it up together and that will be that so red back to red there red 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 and I think I'll turn this one around a bit light red there and this one I don't like that there two opposites nope I'm looking in the camera as well to see what it comes out like put that back there with the lighter colors around it it does show it up a lot more better <clears throat> it does show this up a lot more better this with the lighter colors this one again I don't like because it looks like an arrow so I'm going to swap that out and put a lighter one um, I go back to this one then I'll put these two in there because they are lighter colors and then add this one there I'm going to swap this one at the corner that's better I think I'm going to move this as well and I'm going to put it opposite there get the <laughs> just get the balance right basically that's what I'm looking for just to balance it out because I do feel that it can be balanced out better and put the red there that looks better to me what do you guys think so I have these two orange heading towards I have these two prominent reds heading towards the center let's let's swap it around and see what happens if we turn it so yeah I'll swap this one around as well and see I'm going to take a picture so that I can see it for myself because sometimes looking at it like from this angle with the direct eyes 
can sometimes play with you so taking a picture definitely helps with the layout but I do like this so um, that's what I'll do just take a little snack at my phone just to check that I'm happy with it and then I will stitch it together may may or may not add a border um, I'll see how I feel once I stitch it up and then yeah right so let's get a little picture here going that looks good actually from this angle so there you go much better on camera from looks very good that way so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to this nice colors though beautiful all right guys so I'm gonna sew it together as is if I change it around forgive me <laughs> all right let's get started all right I lied so I messed around again and yeah I changed it um, I'm still not sure which one I'm gonna go with and to be honest I think I prefer the other one I mean it's always most people just go with making the stars anyway don't they so I can see a hunter star here um, but I am simply just gonna go back uh, I think this one looks nice um, it, half I don't know guys <laughs> I've got feeling myself Um this one looks nice but I think I'll go back to the other one. Yeah, I think I am. All right, so I'm definitely going to sew together now and um, I will quilt it up and show you and then we will experiment with the rest. All right, so I am going to show you a little bit of the quilting now um, so that you can see what it looks like. So far, no, no issues at all. I will, of course, show you the full um, quilt, but I just wanted to record a little bit of the quilting. So that you see how it's actually um, in operation with it. Um, I'm just doing some serpentine lines literally and swirls over for my quilting pattern over the quilt. Um, it looks all right to be honest. I'm very pleased with the outcome so far. I'm almost finished quilting so I just wanted to add this in so that you can see what the outcome is and how this quilts. So let's get started. Right, let me show you what I've actually done um, so you can see a little bit of the pattern sort of coming through there all right you can have a look now and see what it's done so as you can see it's nice and smooth no issues at all all the serpentine lines has really come out really beautifully even on the red here it's really really nice guys I haven't done this particular areas yet as you can see the blocks themselves has been stitched together really nicely so far so good I mean um, yes the the fabric is a little bit thin um, but once you've made it into a quilt ideally you cannot really tell that you know but the testing that I'm putting through the quilt is, is so far it's passing all right so um, let's continue I'll show you the completed product I'll give it a rinse through in the washing machine and then from there we will um, see what the outcome is hi guys I just wanted to really give you a little bit of an update about the quilt and the process before I actually move on to show you the quilt itself now on a serious note I had no problems at all okay so let's start from the beginning so initially you saw me I'm just looking for my rulers initially you, um, you saw me all right guys so I just wanted to give you a little brief synopsis about the quilt and the process okay now a few of you down below asked me about the ruler if is if the uh, measurements are correct yes it is it is inch for inch um, on my normal quilting ruler that I paid um, quite a bit for okay so there's no issues at all with the team ruler it is fantastic what I would say I did use all of the tools for actually making the quilt I did not use this at all I actually used Timu ruler even to cut for the border and the binding I use this I also used a rotary cutter as well again so cutting for the border cutting for the binding cutting the fabrics to make the quilt the 10 inch squares they are accurate 
10 inch squares okay um, so no issues I still continue to use the seam guide just to ensure that it was no shifting or anything like that perfect no problems at all so with those items no issues definitely hands up I will definitely buy those again no problem in fact I will buy more rulers and I do hope that they come up with a lot more rulers quilting rulers to buy because I was really impressed with that um, what else can I say the fabrics came together really nicely you saw me sewing it in the previous video with this particular video here now the follow-up part two when I cut them into the half square triangles no problems at all when I stitched them back together no problems at all okay quilting was a breeze no issues and um, the needle went through the fabric no no issues at all it really was a pleasant process in making this little quilt okay um, when it came to washing um, I used cold water and I'll show you the process well obviously I can't really open my my washing machine because it stops but I did wash it and I air dried it and as I said I used cold water so I dried it flat I, dr I treated it the same way I would with any of my quilts so upon washing my quilts for the first time I always use cold water okay just to see if there's a color bleed or not because I think probably with hot water I'm not sure what's going to happen but I always use a cold water all right um secondly after drying I did iron it because I'm going to hang it on my wall so I wanted it really nice and smooth and flat and back into its shape it didn't really get out of shape either okay because I put it on a gentle and um, short cycle because as I said it really was a test um, to see if the products will withstand the whole procedure of making a quilt and it did I was really 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 impressed so when I say go run and buy that fabric definitely jump on there immediately and get your stock in um, a couple comments down below did say that it was thin yes I'm not going to lie about that the fabric is slightly thin but it's not thin to the sense that it feels like paper I have used thin fabrics before in my quilting because remember it is still cotton all right it may not be a high quality grade of cotton but it is still cotton okay and it ironed beautifully you saw me do that in the first video where I use a steam iron on it and it was fine it didn't burn the fabric okay because sometimes if you handle fabric quite a lot you can actually tell with the polyester it is going to burn if you put a hot steaming iron on that fabric it is going to burn and so therefore a cool temperature is what is required to work with polyester when you're making your um if you're going to make a quilt with polyester you have to use that really sort of moderate temperature okay or even a polyester blend you still got to be careful because it can burn the fabric okay but no issues with this okay the 10 inch squares as I did say I'm not sure if I mentioned it but I'll mention it again it is an accurate 10 inch square all right um, so literally go buy it i will definitely buy some more of these fabrics and use it okay i want to try more because they have a different range i think i chose the cheapest range okay so they have different ranges of prices of fabric so you can spend a little bit more but at the same time it is not as expensive as you would into your normal fabric store because i know I buy the quilting fabric I know I can feel the difference it's slightly thicker okay and you can't see through it as you would this particular fabric but what I want you to bear in mind is that if you are going to use this fabric um, for your quilting especially if you're a newbie because I know when I first started I was very nervous to cut into my fabrics after spending so much money use it to build your confidence use it to improve your cutting skill so that way when you do buy the expensive you're already there you know that fear is already gone but also if you're a seasoned quilter and you're watching your pennies by all means may use them to make a quilt for others especially if you know that person is not quilt worthy <laughs> but all jokes aside guys it's it's beautiful it really is beautiful so I'm going to show it to you now and then you know you can make up your own minds but um, unfortunately or fortunately 
you know, I'm going to take my word for it. And I'm not lying to you. I've never lied to you because I, this is what I do. And, you know, it's, it, and that's why I wanted to test it. The whole purpose for ordering the, the tools and the fabric was to really test it because I have not seen anybody do that. I see people do their clothing haul and using drawers and mats and decorating their homes, but no one has really done the quilt and fabrics. And so I really want, that's what I was interested in, but it is um value for money it really is i mean the ruler alone the ruler alone guys unbelievable unbelievable run and i mean run fast go right now and order and i'm not being sponsored i use my own money as i said in the first video to actually buy this and it's a sincere really sincere feedback that i'm giving you about the fabrics but i am going to try more and of course i would let you know you know what the others feel like as i said i'm sure they have a range of um, different prices and when i looked at the jelly rolls they were slightly higher than the tennis squares and they also got yardage as well some they were slightly higher so i am definitely going to take advantage and try them out that's the only thing you can do right so with that said let's go have a look at this beautiful quilt and you let me know what you think in that doc box down below and i look forward to hearing from you because this is really exciting and as i said if you're in a budget run get it now <laughs> let's go have a look guys all right guys so you're looking at the quilt now this quilt measures 43 inches squared look at it it's beautiful isn't it it really 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 is i love the border fabric it has literally raised the profile of the quilt and looking at this now you will not think that this was made from cheaply fabrics you will not there is no way that you can actually tell look at it the quilting has come out really beautiful on it absolutely gorgeous you will not be able to say to anybody and no one can point out and say oh you use cheap fabrics no because there is no way you can tell the difference i am really really honestly impressed with this guys and i know you will too once you have used it the borders has just really raised the profile it's just so damn gorgeous on the back i just use an ordinary green fabric love the binding so i've used that yellow binding just again to wrap the whole thing together it just looks really really good as you can tell i was struggling a bit in the sense i didn't couldn't decide which pattern to go with but i like this one initially so i stuck to what i liked it's really it's really beautiful i mean if you wanted to make a larger quilt think how cheap it is going to be i'm sorry i don't want to use the word cheap because that that sort of lessens the value in a sense you know because cheap means that it's just nasty this isn't this isn't that you know so if you wanted to make a, a larger quilt a throw size a lap size a twin size you can spend the money and you wouldn't hit your pockets that badly okay so in i in all honest honestly the batting i already had the border fabric i already had the binding fabric I already had and so all I did really buy was just simply the fabric to make the quilt so guys I do hope that you enjoyed this tutorial do like and subscribe give me a thumbs up for this one and I look forward to hearing your comments in the description box down below please comment with me and let me know what you really really think I am just so impressed with this. I really, really am. It has worked out really nicely. I, I'm, I'm not disappointed. I, I cannot say it enough how impressed I am. Even the layout works really beautifully. Okay, guys. So with that being said, bye for now. Happy quilting. Love you lots. And I'll definitely see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys. All right, guys. So this is where it's going to live. So this is the area where I had my Christmas snow, a dog sleigh, that's it, dog sleigh um, quilt hanging for the longest one and I refused to move it. 
but I think this one looks nice here as well and um, this is where it's going to live so it's a perfect little wall quilt as I said it's 43 inches squared and it looks absolutely gorgeous there so this is the entrance as soon as you come into the house this is the first thing you're going to see doesn't it look beautiful there guys again let me know what you think in the description box down below all right guys just wanted to show you that and let you see what it looks like in its entirety in its position where it's going to live all right bye for now see you next week bye guys